said that um, she's she's underneath her desks. And she sent me a picture of the teacher stacking chairs and bl blocking the door. We even have an officer here on time, you know, all the time. So you think your kid's safe, and then you know something like this happens. Kids should be excited going back to school the first week and not have to think about all this crazy stuff happening. But I mean, it's pretty scary. Belvedere North parents wait nervously for answers as their children go into a hard lockdown, barricading themselves inside classrooms. Good evening, I'm Mimi Murphy. And I'm Eric Wilson. After about four hours, a hard lockdown was lifted at three Belvedere schools. This morning, the administration received information about a 911 call that raised a safety concern at Belvedere North. Reporter Brett Brooks is live at the school now. Brett, what can you tell us about this incident? Eric and Mimi, I'm here at Belvedere North High School where at 8.30 this morning a, a call came into 911 sending the school into a lockdown. Police say despite the panic and worry, they were ready. An early morning scare for students and staff at Belvedere North High School. Right now it's an active investigation. Uh, we have investigators that are tracking down several leads um, that we're hoping to pan out. Someone made a 911 call regarding a safety concern at the high school. North and surrounding middle and elementary schools immediately went into lockdown. Sheriff David Ernest says police departments from all over came to assist the minute they heard the call come in. The all calls, you know, we expect are going to be real. That's how we treat them. Do we think they're real? A lot of calls, obviously we do not. But uh, the times we live in, every single call is taken. Every procedure is followed. Uh, we cut no corners. Uh, everything uh, between us and the school district, we have to. These are children. Are we going to take a risk? No. Superintendent Dan Weisman told the community they are ready for events like these, and the response was executed according to plan. And so I think the conversation really has to be around how do we make sure that our schools are a safe environment for students to come to, that they feel safe, that they have a trusted environment and a trusted community that they can uh, talk with, and if they have concerns, they can bring those concerns up with uh, trusted adults. We'll continue that message. The superintendent, a father himself, sending out this emotional message to parents. Uh, I have kids just like many of you do, and it's something that I think of on a regular basis. <clears throat> promise you that uh, the adults here, uh, whether they are uh, custodians, uh, teachers, or administrators, uh, everybody was uh, trying hard to be part of the solution today. This is now being considered a criminal investigation, and law enforcement are looking into who made that 911 call so that they can possibly charge that person. Still no word yet on what that call consisted of or who the threat was targeted towards. But for now, reporting in Belvedere, I'm Brett Brooks for Eyewitness News. Mimi? Brett, Brett thanks for that report. Teachers, meanwhile, sprang into action following safety measures during the lockdown. This photo was taken at Belvedere North. You can see here that chairs and tables are stacked up against a classroom door. The doors were locked and students sat underneath desks. 